chosen ones your friends and family will never support you they'll see what you're doing but they will not support you they will not inspire you they will not motivate you that's part of the journey of being a chosen one and i'm going to break it down in today's video now before i do that you already know what to do smash that like button hit the red subscribe button and leave a comment down below man chosen ones i know you're going through it man your friends your family there's no support no motivation you know people are not trying to lift you up but they're running away from you they're giving you a red eye you know they're jealous of you now you're thinking why why is this like i'm doing something positive i have a positive message i'm trying to better myself i'm trying to raise my consciousness i'm trying to help other people then but like no one seems to care no one seems to want to support me like i don't understand like it's like people are more angry at me for bettering myself you know and you're confused and it leaves you confused like i don't understand you know, when I was doing bad things, like people were there and I'm now doing good things and no one's here. Like, how, how does that work out? It doesn't make any sense. Now I'm here to tell you that that's part of the journey. You see, don't take it personal, first and foremost, and that it's not really them. It's just their spirit and that. Their spirit is at unease. They feel a type of way, you know, because you used to be in the same, you used to be in the same level as them. You used to speak the same manner, but you've graduated now. You graduated a higher degree. Now they're still looking at you like, man, I'm still in the same position. But every time you level up, every time you talk to them about something positive or going to the next level, they're still in that same level that you met them at. They're still in that same level from five, six years ago or two years ago. So like, you're trying to show them like, like what's happening up here, but they can't even comprehend what's happening down here. They're still in the same base level. That guy still might be overweight. That guy's still thinking negative. The guy's still, you get what I'm coming from. So when you're pushing them or when you are expressing yourself and showing them the higher levels or, or dimensions, they're like, hmm, okay, uh, I, hate, I hate you. Or they're not trying to hear it because they're still fighting within their own self. They're still fighting their own demons, their own ego. You see, it's their ego don't want to let them. You know, the ego saying like, nah, bro, don't give him no praise. Don't give him no, no, you know what I'm saying to you? Don't congratulate him. Don't, don't show him any love because it's like, what the hell, bro? Like, why is he living up and I'm not doing it? You know, so it's, they're questioning themselves. They're questioning their own existence. They're questioning, like, why am I not progressing? Every time you tell them some new information, they're looking at it like, how is this guy going from here to here to here to here? He's just levitating, bro, and I'm still here. Instead of being humble and approaching you and, you know, working together and taking tips from you, you know, they might be older than you, they might be your parents, they might be your brother, your friend, but they feel a type of way now. They're like, man, yeah. This guy, this, this, you're just like a, annoying to them. You feel what I'm saying? So on your journey of leveling up and getting better, you'll see that support will decrease or totally be finished. No support. You have to go by yourself. A lonely road, bro. It's a very lonely road. Like I say, you have to be built for this and that. If you want the, the reward, you have to go through it. You know, all the great people were alone. Like Jesus, Moses, like all of these inventors, Nikola Tesla, like all of these people were alone because people couldn't understand, comprehend like where they was at, you know? It's either they were jealous of them or they just felt like this person is out of sync and that's it, you're a different vibration. You see, you attract people on the vibration you're at. You know, before you used to get along with your friends and family because you was in the same vibration, you was the same vibe and that, you know, same shit, partying, drinking, smoking, or whatever you guys were doing, like, you was at that level. Now your mind's somewhere else. You're going to a higher degree. So them people are automatically not attracted to you. You're not attracted to them people. Them people are not feeling you no more. You feel what I'm saying to you? Now you're going to start to attract people like-minded who are on that caliber of trying to improve themselves and that. You see, you're going to have new friends. You're going to have new family members around you real soon. You feel what I'm saying to you? So just understand that your friends and family, they're not going to support you. They don't, they don't even care what you're doing anymore. And they feel a type of way. You know, they feel a type of way because it's like, they're still there. They're still there in 08. They're still living in 2015. They're still living in 2019. You're living in 2030, 2044. Like your, your vision is in the, of the future. You know, every time they look at you, you look different. Your body's looking better. Your skin is glowing. You know what I'm saying to you? You're progressing in your business. Yo, so it's like raw, like this guy is just just climbing, and I'm just here, like fuck this guy. <laughs> they're like fuck this guy, like in their head, that's what they're saying, and I fuck this guy. I don't give a fuck about him. You know what I'm saying? To because he just thinks he's better than me, but that's not the truth. The truth is you don't you don't you don't feel you're not better than anyone. You know that you're not better than them. You know that you're just following your own journey. You're walking your own path. You're not looking down upon them, but that's how they perceive it. That's how I, they look at you. 
They come to conclusions thinking that, yo, that you've left them and that, or that you feel that you are above them, which is not true. Because you're so focused on yourself, you're so focused on your own journey, you're so focused on progression that you haven't got time for the idle time, you haven't got time for all these low vibrational things and that. Now people start to look at you like, nah, this guy's changed, man. Now like, this guy thinks he's all this and that. Like, it's not the truth, you see? So, and on your journey, you're gonna come across people who you don't even know, bro. You might just, you might just see them in the gym. You might just see them just randomly at work or some just an odd place and you talk to them and you're feeling the energy more than your family, bro. You're thinking shit. I don't, I only know you for five minutes, bro. And I'm feeling your vibe. I'm feeling your energy. The conversation that we're having is far, far more enjoyable, far greater, far more knowledgeable than what I do with my friends and family. Like, like you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, it's, times are changing, bro. You know what I'm saying to you? You already know if you're chosen. You already know you're walking the walk, man. You're walking your path. You're focused. You know what I'm saying to you? But people, they want you to come back down. They want to see the old you. They miss the way you was in 2019, 2020. They want you to go back to them times and that. You want, they want you to come back to that energy so you can vibe again, so they can feel comfort and that. You see, they say misery likes company. They say, wherever level you're at, you want that type of person. If you're suffering, you want people around you also to suffer. Not, not like deliberately, but if you're going through a hard time, it's nice to talk to someone who's going through a hard time. You know, because like the person can relate in that. But if that, if you talk to someone who's constantly progressing and happy with life and they're going up and you can't relate to that person because you're suffering and he's elevating. So why am I even talking to you? Like really, you should be talking to that person because they can help you, but your soul is telling you, nah, but I've always talked to someone who understands me, who understands the pain, the struggle. You feel what I'm saying to you? So your friends and family, huh, they're gonna fade away, bro. They're gonna go into dust. They're gonna go into dust. They're gonna be watching you from a distance. You know, it seems like they're not around, but they're around. They're closer than you think. <laughs> you know, on social media, they're watching every move. Oh, did you, oh, the new post. Oh, did you see what you just done there? They're watching you from a distance. Like I made a previous video about this and that. You know, but end of the day, just stay humble. Like I always say, stay humble. Stay on your journey. Any opportunity you get to help, still help. Even though people won't listen, still try to help them. You know, say what you need to say, but don't waste too much energy on them. Cause it gets draining, bro. You know, talking to friends and family about new, new, new consciousness, new books, new exercises, or new way of thinking, new way of living, and it gets draining, bro. Because end of the day, when you give energy and you don't get no energy back, it's it's taken away from you. You know, you feel depleted in that. If you can shit, I feel low now. I feel de depressed now. Like I've been giving all my energy to this person, trying to help them, and they don't even have to help themselves in that. You know, like James Allen said in the book, you cannot help. A physically weak man because the weak man must become strong himself first you know all you can do is plant the seed point them towards the right direction like that way if you want if you want to you know enlightenment is that way that's it you know down there that's it and then if he goes there then cheers if you don't then cool like that's your choice you know i'm pointing to the right, right direction you know so chosen one saying you say on your journey bro say on your journey you know don't don't look down upon your family or friends. Don't feel a type of way. Don't take it personal. You know, everything spiritually, end of the day, you understand? So it's that spirit and that, you know? You're fighting with people's spirits and that. You, you know what I'm saying to you? So don't take it personal, man. It's not personal. It's just business. It's just business. You know what I'm saying to you? Just do your thing. Let them do their thing. And if you feel a type of energy uh, that's not, that's a bit off, then cool. It's what is what it is and that. You got too much things, you got too many things to do, bro. You have too much work to do. You have so, so long to go on your journey, bro. So it doesn't make sense to stop there and start to contemplate why is this person not in my life? Why is this person not feeling me? Why is this person not inspiring? Why is it? Bro, it's, you have too much to do. You shouldn't even be thinking that, you know? Sometimes the thoughts will come and you, you, you observe the thought and then keep it pushing, man. Keep it pushing. You feel what I'm saying to you? That's all you need to do. You know what I'm saying to you? At the end of the day, like I always say, the moment they see you winning, the moment you obtain what they desire, most people desire uh, wealth and money. So the moment you get to the stage in your life where you got the wealth and the money, and then they'll, they'll come back around again. Hey, uh, where you been? I ain't spoke to you in a long time. How's it going? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying to you? Because you have what they desire, which is the wealth, which is the status, which is the influence. You know what I'm saying to you? And then in that moment, be humble. Please be humble when you get to that state and that when people come back around and that don't look at them like nah he wasn't there for me. He wasn't there when I was struggling, bro. Like we are beyond that now. That's that's ego. That's ego right there. You know? When you get to that stage and people come back around, they want to know what you're doing, they want to know how you got there, you simply teach them the same lessons you taught them from day one. You know what I'm saying to you? And you, you accept them with open arms. 
You know what I'm saying? Kill them with kindness and that, as they say. Kill them with kindness. Don't kill them with hatred and that. Don't fight fire with fire. If they come with a fire, you come with a water. And it's all balanced and that. I appreciate you for watching the video. Make sure to smash that like button. Hit the red subscribe button. And that's it, man. Keep pushing.